Good day, I'm Nick French of GHS Chemical Training and Consulting based here in Singapore. We provide training solutions for the globally harmonized system for hazardous chemicals, otherwise known as the GHS. From time to time I'm asked the question by my clients, can customs hold up my import shipments at the port if they are not GHS labeled? As far as I know, in most countries the answer is no. This certainly applies in Singapore where customs is not deemed to be a regulating agency nor a competent authority when it comes to the GHS. However, there are exceptions, one of the notable being China, which introduced the GHS for both substances and mixtures in 2010. Here it seems that their Customs Bureau has been empowered to inspect goods for GHS compliance. This poses a significant threat for importers for a number of reasons. From my past experience of importing chemicals into China, there is a lack of consistency from port to port when it comes to satisfying customs regulations. There are differing standards. What satisfies customs in Ningbo, for instance, may not necessarily mean that Shuidong in the south will agree. You have to negotiate with each port customs authority individually, which is why local import distributors are often engaged to assist with the process. Second, the level of training and understanding of the GHS may vary from location to location. Standards may differ from port to port. I've heard stories where labels that are fully compliant in Singapore and the EU have been rejected by China Customs. Sometimes they suggest addition of pictograms and statements that to the properly trained eye are excessive and even erroneous. But you still have to do it. When importing chemicals in bulk, such as by chemical parcel tanker, despite the fact that they have not been packaged in containers, customs may still call for a label, even though technically there is nowhere to stick it. It's just for their records, they claim. Thus, one ends up negotiating with customs on a case-by-case -case basis until a mutually acceptable label has been created. Indeed, a lengthy process. For this purpose, you might need to elicit the assistance of local support in settling the customs issue. But again again, you may still be allowed to import your materials without a China compliant label simply by paying a fine. Somewhere upwards of 2,000 RMB, I believe, about $300 per import. But sooner or later, this option may disappear without notice. So why not clear the issue right now and provide them the label called for, as painful as this process may be. I'm Nick French from GHS Chemical Training and Consulting. If you have any comments or further suggestions on this subject, I welcome them. Just email me at nick at ghschem.sg. To discover what range of training programs we offer in the GHS, visit our website www.ghschem.sg. Cheerio for now.